Hi, I'm Pete Russell, the head coach of Milton Keynes Lightning and the GB senior team, and I'm here watching Steel Dogs TV. Welcome to Steel Dogs TV in association with MF Hire. Second weekend of the EPL season, and the Bradfield Brewery Sheffield Steel Dogs are down to Milton Keynes to take on the Lightning. So a uh, 5-4 win uh, in Milton Keynes, a really great team performance. Uh, so Belly, uh, how was that for, for you? Yeah, good. It's really good to get that first win. Um, we didn't want to go four games, so sort of, if, if we went and lost tonight, lost to Swindon, that's four games and the pressure starts to mount. So really good feeling in the room after winning that one. Um, and yeah, it's good to get off the mark. Okay. Um, and uh, what about Stevie Duncan, who, who wasn't playing tonight, was just dressing, um, out there logging a lot of, uh, a lot of ice time and... Uh, Crucial, uh, crucial goal. Yeah, I think uh, I think I had to push him across the ice that last shift, uh, give him an helping hand. But we were both struggling. But yeah, he's, he's done a good job to to not play any any preseason games and then come in tonight and sort of put the shift he needed. Then yeah, credit to him, he's done a good job. The team kind of really seemed committed to, to like team defence, not just kind of leaving kind of Dally uh, out to dry. Um, is, is that kind of very much kind of Woody's philosophy? Yeah, definitely. Woody, Woody wants us to keep sort of less than ten shots a period. Um, that's a big thing that we're trying to do this year. Um, I think other than the first period, we did it tonight. Um, but Dally played well. That's that's what we need him like, and it, it was as good as he can be tonight. So it was good. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and last off, the, uh, the the red glove twins, uh, Stano and, and Bose. Uh, another great performance from both of them. Are you glad you don't have to play against them? Yeah, definitely. Like the Stano, Stano is such a smart player. Um, Bose has got his, his obvious size. Uh, but that, we, it's been a while since we've had imports that do that for us. Uh, to have Lubo, Stano, Boss, Dali all playing as good as they did tonight, then yeah, that, that's what we need from us imports, and it's good to see it. Great stuff, and well done on the win. Yeah, thank you. Cheers. After Saturday night's win down in Milton Keynes, Sunday night saw the Steel Dogs back at Ice Sheffield to take on the Swindon Wildcats. But would a short bench Steel Dogs team have the energy left to hold out the high scoring Wildcats? Steel Dogs are in the black as we join first period action. The opening goal came 3 minutes 54 seconds into the first period. Ben Morgan bringing the puck out from the back. Finding Tom Squires, who makes a dash up the ice. Beautifully queuing up Arnold as Bozas. The replay shows Squires finding Bozas right in the slot and beating a helpless Stevie Lyle in the Wildcats net. 1 0 to the Steel Dogs. The game was not without a physical edge, and as we see Pato here drive for the net, bumps into Zalasak, and then drops the gloves, ready to take him on. Strangely, the uh, Slovakian didn't seem too interested on this occasion. Pato gets 2 plus 2 for the roughing, Zalasak just the 2. Swindon found an equaliser as we approach midway in the first period. Sam Bullis, the man on the spot, to bury the puck after good work by Selby and Ruckus. One more. Within two minutes, the Steel Lugs were back in front. Good work from birthday boy Andy Hurst, bursting into the workout zone. Fine Stano Lashek, he queues up Ozas for his second of the night. Great combination for the magical red gloves. Replay shows it beautifully. Hurst, good work. Pass the Stano down low, he just takes his time. Great little fake. Bozas buries it. Beauty. Thirty-fourth minute of the game, and after some good work around the Swindon net, bodies flying, and we get ourselves a bit of a standoff. As we zoom in, we find out we aren't actually in black and white. There is some colour here. And at the back of the scene, Calvert and Bullis are about to uh, pair up. 
helmets off, let's do this thing. Two willing combatants throwing fists. Until Fuller sends up in the net. Decent scrap. Two minutes into period number three and we get what was to be the final goal of the night. Good cycle by the Steel Dogs. Hanging on to the puck. Making the Wildcats defence work. Really keeping them moving. Those bodies converge in front of Lyle. It's Stano Lashek who buries the puck to make it 3-1. Not the prettiest goal of the night, but still effective. Again, see Stano driving in for the net. And honestly, it's him that gets the last touch. Into the final minutes of the game, and the Wildcats pull Stevie Lyle to get an extra attacker out. Six skaters out there putting pressure on Sedlar and the Still Dogs net. But to no avail. Unable to score, Steel Dogs bag their second win of the weekend by a margin of three goals to one. A four point weekend. Okay, Woody, um, I, when I saw you yesterday, I kind of joked about it being a four point weekend, and uh, so it's turned out to be. Yeah, how do you feel about that? Obviously, I'm over the moon, you know, four, four points looking at this weekend coming into it. You, you know, would snap your hand off for four points, but. All in all, it was deserved. Um, guys really, really, really stuck to task. They've had a really hard week in practice, and you know we're off ice, and everyone's really buying in. And you know, it, I think it was rewards tonight. And I think you know we were good for his win. Okay. Um, any guy, individ individuals you want to kind of pick out for a particular praise? You know what? This weekend, it's probably been the biggest weekend where everybody's contributed. You know, um, we lost Liam last night. Pato steps straight in, gets two assists, has a fight. I think you can know just watching him tonight. People will say what they want about him, but he can actually play as well. He played absolutely fantastic tonight. He stepped in with one of our imports and another senior British player and didn't look out of place. So he did a fantastic job. And you know the guys who were paid to score. They did the job this weekend. Boss, I think he had. I think he's averaging two goals a game at minute. So he's absolutely on fire. Lasek scored again. Lubo, those guys are going to be on fire. Hurst, he scored a great goal tonight. Um, you know it's going to take a game at a time, but we're really starting to make strides. Um, and as long as we, you know, bear down in practice, and come with like the week we just had, we're going to be, we're going to have a pretty good year. Um, you know, so I'm really happy. Okay. Uh, you mentioned uh, Bows and his uh, his multiple goals. Um, you must be uh, pretty chuffed that you uh, you picked him up. Oh, absolutely. You know, when I looked at players available, you only have to look at his pedigree, playing at the levels he has done, and the teams he has played on, and the size of him in this league. That size and that skill together, it's going to cause people trouble. Um, so yeah, I'm absolutely delighted where he started. Yeah, really good. Okay, um, and last off, um, Guildford are our visitors uh, next Saturday. Um, a bit of a, a new look, Guildford. Um, what are you expecting from from that encounter? Guildford are Guildford. They're going to be, you know, they're spending big money. They've got some great players there. Um, you know, I'm going to work hard this week and think I'm going to to beat them. We're going to slow them right down. Um, and you know, we know it's going to be tough, but if we play disciplined and we're organised, we've we've got every chance. We've got every chance. Daly played absolutely fantastic tonight. You know, with that kind of goaltending, it gives you a chance in any game. So, you know, I'm really, really excited for coming weekend. Joined by Steel Dogs net miner Dalibor Sedlar. Uh, Dalibor, uh, a nice win tonight. So it's two wins this weekend. How does that feel? Uh, like, of course, we feel perfect. You know, yesterday, in my opinion, I didn't feel the best, but all the guys in front of me played a perfect game. They helped me so much. So I wanted to help them today and Everybody's so happy we won both games this weekend. Okay. okay, so you made quite a few combination saves tonight to keep the Wildcats out. Are you feeling sharp in your own game? Oh, to be fair, I didn't feel better than in games before or like something special. Just, you know, last week we I felt like we didn't have a luck in the games. We, we tried hard, but like pretty much everything was wrong, you know, if I can say it like that. And 
like these two games, all the guys play perfect, tried hard. So I just wanted help, and I'm so happy we won both games. Okay, and, and talking about the guys, um, kind of a different philosophy, a philosophy from the team this season. The guys really kind of dropping back and giving you some cover. Um, are, you, do, are you kind of noticing that from, from your perspective in the net? I, I just, I would like to say like everybody is more exciting, you know, everybody wants to try, try hard and that's the point, you know, that's it. Okay, thanks Dali. Thank you very much. We're joined by uh, birthday by uh, Andrew Hurst. Uh, happy birthday. Thank you very much. So uh, how does it feel to uh, uh, celebrate your birthday weekend with uh, four points? Uh, brilliant. Um, to be honest with you, I, I saw fixtures and I, I thought that it was going to be a really tough weekend. So to come away with four points is brilliant. Um, two great teams, Milton Keynes and Swindon. We're, very, we're all happy. Okay. Uh, and what about the, uh, the guys in the red gloves, uh, Stano and Bose, who are kind of really making a difference out there, aren't they? They're brilliant. Both of them are quality. I think Stano's unbelievable. Probably, probably the best all-round player we've ever had as a steel dog. Defensively, unbelievable. He hasn't conceded a goal yet while he's been at ice. Just brilliant. Wins, wins 75% of his face-offs. Blocks shots. Lays down to block shots. One time as he's trying to catch. Just quality. We seem to have th yeah, three li line combinations that are really gelling well this year. Um, is that uh, kind of down to the, the time in practice? I think I think so. I think we've been the we have now the most balance we've ever had. We've got people like well players like Greg Wood have played in the elite league. They've played for Great Britain seniors. They're one of the most respected players in the league, playing as a centreman on the third line, and it shows the depth we have. We have young players coming through. We've got good age players, and we've got three imports that are coming to play every night. Or four four imports, sorry, three import forwards, four four with Dali Bar in there, and they're playing brilliant. That's if you have two lines in this league, two good lines and one line that isn't delivering, you're going to lose because the teams now have four good lines in this league. But I agree, it is training, but we have depth. We've got good players on our team, and I think we're coming to realise that as well. And we're showing, we're showing it. And we're playing with confidence. Okay, and coming back to the man you nearly forgot, um, <laughs> Dali <laughs> had a great performance tonight. Um, how, how, just how good is he? I think his quality. It, we absolutely hung him out to dry for the past two seasons. A year, I can't remember. Has he been here two seasons? Year and a half. Three he come, I can't. Well, however long he's been here, <laughs> we hung him out to dry, and now we've actually converted to defending as a team. And he showed how good he is. He shouldn't be making four continuous saves. He should be making the first save, and he does always make the first save. Uh, now we've started to be more responsible and not play as Gung Ho is showing how good he is and you saw tonight with that split glove save like Dominic Asik. <laughs>